Hi guys, this is Tam. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be doing a flip through of a magazine that I picked up at my local Barnes & Noble. It does touch a little bit on crafting and I wanted to share it with you guys. It is not a magazine that's published in the United States. It does um, come from the UK and as many of you know, those magazines are just a little bit more expensive than they are if they were made and shipped locally but um, what I'm finding is a lot of the magazines that I'm taking to are from either the UK the Netherlands or uh, something like that it's not in the United States I'm not finding a whole lot of magazines in the United States um, that I like especially when it comes to journaling and crafting so I don't know why that is but that's just my preference um, lately so this magazine is called Breathe. It touches on well-being, mindfulness, creativity, and escaping. And that's what it looks like on the spine. This is issue 15, the latest issue. And that's what it looks like on the back. And we're going to flip through it just so you guys can see what it looks like on the inside. There are a lot of images in here that I like that can be used for journaling. So um, after you get through reading these types of magazines, you can certainly use them um, to cut apart to use them in your journaling so that's one of the things that I like about these type of magazines they're not just for reading when you're done reading you can also recycle them and use them for your journals your journals and your crafting so it talks about a variety of different things I find it very interesting it talks about um, stress and overworking yourself and dealing with mental issues as well as enjoying your life enjoying your career and things like that I like magazines that talks about bettering yourself growing yourself and if you can see here they also have a teen issue of this very same magazine so um that's something you can think about if you have teenagers that like to read and um, if they're interested in something like this in terms of articles and it also have um, interactive parts in here where you can write down um, your thoughts and you can do a little bit of journaling in the magazine if you like that sort of thing so I liked the articles that I have read in here so far I haven't read all of them but I have read a few of them and I have liked what I have read so far again it talks about self-improvement um, and bettering yourself and growing this article I read that talked about um, coming out of the regular nine to five job and venturing into um, that career that you've always wanted to venture into so for everybody that's not realistic but you know for some people it is um, they're in a place of comfort when um, they could make a career change they just you know don't want to but that's you know again something that everybody has to decide on their own I've been doing the same thing for um, over 20 years at this point so I'm ready for a career change just ready to do something different to be in a different environment and the only thing that is hindering me is the salary <laughs> I know when you choose to take on a new career most companies try to bring you in as a entry-level person so they don't pay you the same amount of money that the job that you've been working on for 20 years is paying you you know what I'm saying so <laughs> that is um, again a decision everyone has to make for themselves but if in the event you are in a um, career that you don't like and you can't change it at the moment you know there are different things you can do mentally and emotionally to not get depressed and down and, and whatever based on your situation you can still um, like this magazine touches on mental health and things like that as well so that's a beautiful image so once you get through reading this magazine or once I get through reading this magazine I could definitely use some of these images in my journaling I'm definitely looking forward to that I am trying to get caught up on my journaling I have a bag of stuff that I have been accumulating over the last couple of weeks 
to journal about and I am behind with that so I'm looking forward to getting caught up on that so some of these images in here I definitely um, I definitely want to use this is an interactive part of the magazine so the magic of letter writing why it might just be the key to living a more creative life so people who like to write and I am one of those people this is you know an interactive part now and I like magazines that allow you an opportunity to think and to um, write down your thoughts and things like that this is a beautiful image paint brushes, a paint palette that's a, a crafting desk. I love that image. I'm looking forward to getting my desk in tip-top condition so it can look neat and clean like that. Love those floral images. Not floral, they're more like um, greenery, greenery leaves and things like that. like those images. This pink house I fell in love with instantly when I opened the magazine and I was flipping through it in the store so it's one of the reasons why I decided to get it can't wait to cut this image out and put it in my journal that's a beautiful image there so I love you know the images in here I don't know whether or not this is a magazine that I'm going to buy on a regular basis because I already have my staple magazine which a few of you already know about is the Daphne's Diary magazine and it comes from the Netherlands so that magazine is about um, fifteen dollars and it comes out eight eight times a year this is a um, magazine that comes out twice every it comes out what do you call it every two months so it's not a magazine that comes out every month every week every couple of weeks or nothing like that it comes out every two months but the cost of this magazine was about thirteen dollars so I'm noticing that the price with the magazines that are coming from other countries is a little bit expensive but it has content that you can't find in a magazine that is made here in the states I haven't been able to find it so I want you guys to leave me a comment below what's your favorite magazine whether it's a crafty mag crafting magazine or if it's just a regular magazine love that image up there I would love to interact with you guys learn who my followers are you know just kinda say hey and get to know you guys just a little bit better on this channel I still consider this to be a brand new channel I only have a few subscribers and I'm trying to upload more content to gain more subscribers who may be interested in what I have to share so um, for those of you who have joined me over here already go ahead and leave a comment below and let me know what your favorite crafting magazine is or if you just have a regular magazine that you like I would like to hear about that as well so that's the end of the flip through I appreciate you guys linked below is also my second channel it's a Bible journaling channel talk about my faith and I also do some journaling and my Bible on that channel if you're interested so linked below is that uh, channel go ahead and go over there and see if you would like to also join me over there if you would like to be a subscriber to this channel and you're not already go ahead and hit the subscriber button over here as well also hit the notification bell so you can know when I upload brand new videos it was so great to um, flip through this magazine with you guys on today and I look forward to seeing you in my next video bye